Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. So what's up everyone? Welcome to Spiller Kenzie channel. And today this is going to be my second video for OutStore. But for this video, we'll be installing PSP emulator for our iPad Pro. Okay, let's go directly to build.ppsspp.org and scroll to the iOS section. There are two links in there and I want you to download or get the dev latest and not the dev working version because the other one seems not to be tested as of the moment. After this, let's go back to our Outstore application on your iPad and then upload your IPA file. So for me, I uploaded using File Explorer or if you want, you can also use AirDrop since I have already installed it. I will do it again for demo purposes. When installing IPA files on OutStore, make sure you are connected to your PC or computer and your mail app is open or else installing will not work. It takes around 30 seconds to a minute to install PPSSPP. And after this, you can open the newly installed app or click activate button like what's on my screen. Activating is like resigning your app again since you are only limited to a certain number of apps. For me, I have a limit of three apps. That's why I need to activate it again if I want to use other emulator. Okay, let's now open our PPSSPP emulator. Before we jump into the gameplay and demo, I want to show you first my settings and graphics configuration. The first thing I set here is my rendering, rendering solution. Usually I set it to three or five and depends on the game. If you have better hardware like an iPad Pro, you can set it to five for crispier graphics. And the next one is upscale level. For iPad Pro, you are only limited to two times of upscaling, but that's fine. You can leave it to the auto or two times if you want it. The last one I said is FPS counter, but this is more of monitoring purposes only that don't affect any performance. It's just good to see how many frame rate it is running. Okay, let's go to the last part of my configuration. The next is controller. I actually didn't, didn't change anything here after pairing my controller to my iPad. If you're using MFI controllers like Xbox and PS4, this is going to be configured automatically by the em emulator. So let's go to the demo. Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight. Round two, fight! <laughs> You're not ready to get ready for the next battle. Round one.
round two. Fight! <laughs> It seems everything is working fine and I don't experience any lag. Good things to our iPad Pro. And that's it for this video and the next one will be for Nintendo GameCube and Wii emulation. So please guys, don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button. You win. Thank you, Spirit.